and a lot of it was keyed by Helena Pueyo getting out in transition with those steals. Who's sitting down with us right now alongside as Mary Martinez. You guys had similar stat lines, 14 points for both of you, six of 11 from the floor, both of you. So we figured it'd be good to have the two fifth year seniors joining us. Congratulations, that was a hard fought win and it came down all the way to the end. Helena, let's start with you. What was the mindset there when Washington made that big run? I mean, we just got to control our turnovers because we were making a lot of turnovers. So, but I mean, at the same time, we play hard, we play defense, and I think at one point of, of the game, we are showing and it was good for us. I'm looking at you guys and the steals, 13 steals in this game. It's a huge part of the way you guys play, the pressure and the intimidating factor of I'm going to take it from you. How did that work for you guys in this game? I think that's part of game, like... That's how we control the game, pressing the ball, getting steal, and run the floor. So that's all we got to do and press them to win the game. And it worked today. So that's why we got so many turnovers. And the way how we play, I think that's how we got to deal every game. You know, I'm looking at you, Helena, and yeah. you're not even sweating. You played 40 minutes. <laughs> what is going I'm on? I'm tired. I'm getting <laughs> the <laughs> Energizer Bunny. Literally, you had I got a chin in the half time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. You played 55 minutes in the triple overtime yeah. win. Today you play only 40. But how have you been able with just seven players available, both you guys, to manage how you're – it's a marathon and a sprint all in one in a basketball game, but you don't even look tired. Yeah, I mean, we just got to take care of our bodies outside. We know we just mark. We are practicing with like seven players, so we just gotta be smart. Or at halftime, we just take a snack, we eat something. But I mean, yeah, I think we used to that now, so I don't think it feels the same. But yeah, it's hard to play 50 minutes or like 40 minutes. Well, Helena, we, we talk about Victor Wimbayana in the NBA and the yeah. unicorn that he is because he fills out the stop stat sheet. I'm looking at your stats: 14 points, three rebounds, five assists, five steals, and four blocks. What is the key to your ability to be able to dictate both on the offense? End and the, the defensive end throughout the game? I mean, I know Coach Adia trusts me a lot, so I'm just trying to, like, if I have to play the one, I play the one. If I have to play the four, I play the four. So I just do whatever it takes, and I'm just trying to help in, like, both ends. So that's that's just what I'm trying to do every game. You know, I think about both of your journeys, but as Mary, you in particular, you, you grew up in Dominican Republic. You didn't start playing basketball until you were 14 years old. You go to high school in Tennessee. You start your college career at West Virginia, and now you've been in Tucson the last two years. For you, as you look back, and I know there's there's a lot more basketball for you to play this season, but but what has it been like to the experience of playing for Adia Barnes and being able to show out on stages like this? Well, play for Adia Barnes, for me, it's, it's benefit because she really teach me how to how to play as a guard, as a post, outside and inside so I love the way how she teach me I love the way how she communicate with me I really love it you guys have a real big one coming up and the last yeah. time you faced USC it was 95 to 93 in another overtime thriller you guys just like it close down the stretch. No, we don't. <laughs> what do you think that matchup that you just saw them recently and it was such a great game what's it come down to for you guys to get that W I mean I think it's gonna be a tough game always you know Juju Wargan is a really nice player really good player but I think we just gotta watch for him and just just watch our mistakes and just bring some new tactic or something I don't know but hopefully we don't go to overtime again <laughs> so well, we'll see. Well, as Marie you guys are five and two over your last seven games really playing with a lot of momentum right now and we have you two veterans here at the table but there's some freshmen that have really been stepping up big to you how impressed are you with this freshman group really impressed like actually Skyline I feel she's gonna be tough she's so athletic I just I love the way how she play especially uh uh, Bram, I love the way how she moves inside. And Jada, oh, Jada's an energy play. I love the way how she brings energy, the way how she play everything. I love the freshman. She giving me everything. You know, I, you You're guys have been serenaded. terrific, but I was just going to say, I think you guys are about to get serenaded here. Do, do you guys... A little bear down, a little bear when, down when there. somebody there. shows up behind the set. Oh, we got... Uh, are you, you, are you, do you play the drums? Yeah, I used to play back home. Well, can you, school. can you, can we, yeah, are we ready? Can we do this? Yeah, you got it. All right.
I can't think of anything that Esmeri Martinez cannot do. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow Thank against you. the USC Trojans. I love this tournament. Have I mentioned that? We'll be back with more after this. Stick around.